Hi, I'm Kate Naito, and today Margaret and I are going to show you the new trick we're working on, Jump Through Your Arms. We're going to start by teaching the dog to jump over something easy. In this case, it's going to be my outstretched legs. So you're going to notice that I have treats in both hands. It's actually her dry food because she'll do anything for her dry food. And I'm going to point and toss to the other side of my legs. So I'm pointing and tossing the treat. Even if you don't see the treat, know that as I point, I'm actually throwing a treat to the other side. Notice that my feet are up against that little table and that's so that Margaret won't just go around my legs. I want her to go over my legs. Also notice how I have a towel on either side of my legs. I want her to have a soft takeoff and a soft landing so that I'm not doing any damage. You especially need to be careful if your dog is 18 months or under. We don't want to do repeated jumping. That could be bad for them. Practice a whole bunch of sessions with this. You want your dog to really be doing it smoothly and happily. As you can see here, I've started using my arm as the obstacle for the dog to jump over. Now I'm keeping my arm at ground level. We don't want to push the dog too far because it's already a pretty weird obstacle for your dog to have to jump over. And notice I'm switching my arm each time depending on the direction. You don't have to switch arms like this. It's just more comfortable for me. I would still recommend using a barrier like a wall or the table that I have just to make sure that the dog does go over yeah. your arm. Do you see what's a little different this time? Okay, so my arm is not on the ground anymore. Now Margaret is legit jumping over my arm. Still, I don't want to push her too far. It's not about having the highest jump. It's about having a good time together. Yes. Everything else about this scenario remains the same. And you're going to notice that I don't use a verbal cue. It's totally fine to say jump or over right before you point and toss the treat. And I have no problem with that, but in my case, I like my outstretched arm to be the cue. Yes. Yes. The more we practice, the more I'm gonna rely on my outstretched arm as the cue, as opposed to having my pointing hand and throwing a treat. I don't want her to rely on that point because I'm gonna need that hand to complete the circle in a second. So here you'll see that I hold out my arm and that's the cue. And then I do toss the treat after she's completed the jump. Yes. And now we are getting closer to the final product. Yes. My arms are not a full circle yet, but we're getting her used to having this other arm over her head, which honestly Margaret finds a little bit weird, I think. And I do continue tossing the treat after she's completed the jump because I don't want her to jump and then just completely stop and look at me for the treat. I want her to keep going. And that's something we're still working on, as you can see. If you can keep your treats in your pocket or in a treat pouch, that actually might be better than having it in your hand because I think that's distracting to Margaret. I was just trying to do this quickly without too much fumbling for you guys. And we are pretty much at the finished product, at least for a short dog where you don't have to stand up. Depending on the size of your dog, you may be able to do this at a higher level, or you may not be able to completely close that circle because your dog is too big. In any case, it is still going to look really cool, and it's going to be fun for you and your dog and anybody who's watching. Check out my award-winning book, Play Your Way to Good Manners, to get the best behavior from your dog through sports, games, and tricks like this one.